Hundreds of car enthusiasts from all over LA have gathered right here at City Hall for the City of Hawthorne's Car Show. It's been roughly over 10 years since we had a car show. I couldn't be more excited and more elated uh, on the, the, the population here just to see show uh, the car show. We have uh, car clubs, residents of the city of Hawthorne, city employees who have their cars here. Everybody wanted to show off their like, hot rods. Over 70 cars were on display, attracting visitors from all over Los Angeles. Well, I live in Northeast LA and it took me 45 minutes to get here and tell me why'd you come? Well, I love cars and when I heard about it, I knew I couldn't miss it. It was a great opportunity for residents to show off their prized possessions. Dwayne, tell me about this beautiful car that we're sitting in. It's a 1929 Ford Model A Roadster and it was uh, purchased by my Uncle Harold in 1952 and restored and it's been in our family ever since then. It's a real honor to, to be the caretaker of this car right now and look forward to future generations passing it along too. I brought a 39 Buick Century, four door, suicide doors in the back, straight eight. Uh, it's a lot of history in these cars. You know, there's 1,500 of them made. It's a way for people to showcase not only their cars, but their culture. This car culture is real, right? So where there be people into low riders, or old classic cars, or muscle cars, we have all those represented here. One of those low riders on display was a 1959 Chevy Impala, nicknamed Picasso. Low riders to me are um, an expression of yourself. You know, it's your, it's your clothes, your outfit, the type of person you are, your demeanor, you know, your class. Um, it's, it's, it's probably the biggest brotherhood I've ever been in. In addition to the cars on display, there were plenty of activities for attendees to enjoy. We got music, the music is really great. And then we have bouncy houses for the kids. I mean, there's all kind of activities. We have vendors out here uh, providing resources. I noticed that there's a resource fair and I thought that was great. There was a lot of good information. And if you were looking for some help modifying your ride, there were local vendors on hand. It's always cool to see, you know, what people are building, what people are doing, interiors and, and motors and um, just building cars. It, it, it's a cool thing. And as what I do, restyling, it, it adds um, your own personal style to the vehicle. So, that, so that's awesome. The city hopes to make the Hot Summer Nights Car Show an annual event for years to come. Reporting for HCTV, I'm Sam Vargas.